This walkthrough will describe how to use the QMI SDK Lite application to download a new firmware onto an MC74 series product. This will work for any device from Sierra Wireless that is based on Qualcomm chipsets, which include the EMMC, RC, and the WP series. Please remember, QMI SDK Lite and Full SDK can be downloaded from the source website. It can be seen here, MC7455, which you have to select. Once you arrive on this screen, scroll down and select Linux, QMI, and SDK drivers from the software download section. You can now see the full SDK and the light SDK applications. The difference between the two is that the full SDK is a separate QMI daemon that you would run and then have a set of another application which would make use of the APIs the daemon makes available to the system. The light SDK is a completely self-contained application which is much more suitable for systems which have limited resources. The sample application contained in the light SDK is also suitable for loading firmware onto a unit which doesn't use full or open source SDKs or one which doesn't use the QMI interface at all. AT commands are used to control the unit. Open the terminal and download the light SDK and unzip it into a folder. This is what you should see. You can see the docs directory which contains all the documentation required to understand the light SDK and how to work with it. You will be using one of the samples in the sample apps directory to download the firmware onto the unit. For this, first type cd sample apps slash, then type ls. There are a number of applications that can be used. You will be using the light firmware download application. These come pre-built for a number of different architectures, and it's good practice to rebuild it for your system with your toolchain so that you know it will work even if there's a pre-built image for the architecture you are using. Change directory to the top level of the application directory. Type make to rebuild the application for the system. A prerequisite for this walkthrough is to install and use Gobi Serial and Gobi Next drivers. This can be seen in another training video. Now type ls slash dev. Assuming an MC7455 is plugged in and enumerated using the default configuration, it will show that dev TTY USB 0 through 2 ports are present. You also get the QC QMI ports which are already enumerated onto the system. Now change into the bin directory. You will see all the pre-built and rebuilt applications. You will be using the x86-64 units application since this is running on an x86 platform. Remember, you can get help for any of the applications even though you do already have all of the source code available. These are all the switches that you can use, though you don't have to use all of them. The application for this example is going to be used in the most basic way possible. The switches to be used are the dash P and the dash F. Dash P is used to specify the actual device that you're going to use, even though it would default to the one that's already enumerated on the system. Dash F is used to specify the folder which contains all of the firmware files that will be downloaded. Now type dash P slash dev slash QC QMI zero dash F. After that, go to the Files folder. Click on MC74. You will see that inside this folder, there are downloaded zip files from the source which contain firmware files. Inside the folder, you will see the signaling stack and the PRI file. At this stage, we will look at what is actually contained on the unit. Type Minicom-S, then select Serial Port Setup. In the Serial Device section, Delete modem and type TTY USB 2 as the AT command port is always the third port to enumerate for any given unit. Then select Exit. Type ATI. You've now got the firmware version and the actual signaling stack version, which is 2.32110. Now type AT exclamation mark PRIID question mark. You will see the carrier PRIID file which has this version. 
It is paired with this signaling firmware, which is the same as this version here. Now exit Minicom. Now we're going to download the firmware onto the units. Follow the commands as shown. The directory of both files are specified. Individual files are not specified. Please note that login has been done as a root user. This is done to avoid any permission issue that you may experience if you don't have access to certain devices or files. The units get the applications connected to the system and downloaded the PRI file. The firmware file was not needed because it was already on the unit. It has downloaded everything and is now waiting for the units to reboot and come back up again. The system now waits to reboot. When the download process is completed, it exits the application. Go back onto the unit and see what firmware has been downloaded. Now, again, type minicom-s. Then select Serial Port Setup. In the Serial Device section, delete modem and type TTY USB 2. Then select Exit. Type ATI. You can see that the signaling stack version has upgraded to 2.3303. Now type AT exclamation mark PRIID question mark. It shows that the carrier PRI file has been upgraded, which also matches the signaling stack version. Exit from the unit. Remember that from now on, the unit will power up with this new firmware and carrier configuration. This is the end of the walkthrough. And now you know how to use the QMI SDK Lite application to download a new firmware onto an MC74 series product.